I can definitely call that a victory. What's up, gamers? Your boy Beast Gamer Kuma here with an update for the Hell Divers 2 Sony situation. Yes, we just got an update this morning that Sony has backpedaled to the right side of good by saying it will not be required for you to have a PSN account. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. As it should be. Honestly, why even do this in the first place? Why even go that route? You already had a whole bunch of gamers and never was a requirement. Yes, people keep on having that same argument that it was said that a PSN account was needed, but it was an option, not a mandate. You was not in a mandatory state to have a PSN account for any of the PlayStation games. So I don't know why certain people have to go that route and saying that calling people Muppets Basement dwellers, <clears throat> crybabies, you know, the whole night. The thing is that, here's the thing. I'm going to say this from my heart. Check your privilege. Because, yes, all of y'all are so quick to announce how you have a Microsoft account, an Epic Games account, GOG account, PlayStation account. So far, so far, good for you. Not everybody wants to deal with all that. Some people just want to stick to one thing. Some people can't even make a PSN account, which most of y'all keep on forgetting that main note. 170 countries had the game pulled from them, so they couldn't play at all. But here you go, trying to ward off for everybody else on your high little ass fake pedestal, saying, well, PSN account is just easy to make. I don't see the problem. Well, it was a big freaking problem. And they announced it. Even the developers talked about it. So by you on your goddamn high horse, Talking all this nonsense, trying to put everybody else down, warding over your dominance that you are capable of doing things. Once again, check your privilege. Not everybody got those options, okay? Real talk. It's like, damn. It's between that or warding over people about pay to brag. You know the people, oh, if you can't afford the vanity, then just don't buy it. Well, don't add it. And was that something for you or all to feel so superior over people? It's so daunting. Back in the day, we just worried about your skill. Trash talking about your skill versus my skill. If you win, cool, you get the dub. If I win, cool, I get the dub. We're still trash talking afterwards, but whatever. The point is, it was all about our skill, not what you can buy in a game that does not make you a better player. But that's the side point. That's a whole other topic. But right now, Let's take this victory. This is a good victory, but doesn't mean it doesn't put a stain on Sony's reputation right now. That was a bad move. Don't do it again. Real talk. Do not do that again. It doesn't make no sense. Or if you are, state it from the get-go. And hopefully some people will, you know, fall in line. But honestly, I wouldn't bet on it because the whole... For security reasons, yeah, not yeah, I don't have the best track record for that, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I'm just glad that people can get their game. Hopefully, those that got their refund can rebuy the game if they choose to. And hopefully, we don't have to deal with this ever again because, as consumers, we need to. Well, some of us need to think logically on this. The long term, because yes, even me. I have access to all the accounts that I need to do, but doesn't mean it's the same for everybody else. Again, check your privilege. Stop being a dick. Let's get back to fighting for democracy and freedom. As always, peace out.